Hey Audacious Church, hope you are doing well. I am Joachim, if you do not know me. Uh, I'm one of the Audacious College students. Uh, I'm interning in youth and um, I've got a little devotion prepared for you today. So grab a cup of tea, uh, get comfortable. And uh, yeah, the first thing that I want to jump into uh, is one of the key scriptures uh, or verses that I've been looking into. Um, and it's James 4, 8 from the Passion Translation. And it says, move your heart closer and closer to God and he will come closer to you. Be sure to cleanse your life, you sinners. Keep your heart pure and stop doubting. Now, you may be thinking, why Why has James used these, these words, move your heart closer to God? Like, what does that really mean? I think, especially the second part of that, where it says God will move even closer to you, uh, it, it really emphasizes that God wants to be in relationship with us. He doesn't want it to be a static God. He wants to be a God that's active, that's speaking into our lives. Um, that he's getting something out of it as well as us, that, that we receive wisdom and words from him that we pass on to other people. You know, when we take a part of our day and set it apart to spend time with God, it really starts to like blossom this relationship with God. It's not just us saying, oh, yeah, thanks, Jesus. But it's really going deeper. It's, it's actually sitting down and saying, hey, God, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for what you've done in my life. Thank you for what you're going to do. Uh, I really need this from you. I really need I really need comfort from you. And in asking for comfort, asking for things from God, as well as thanking him for things, is building that closer bond. It's having that relationship. If you think about relationships in our everyday lives, we're active with each other. We're active with our friends. We're, we ask them for help. We ask them for comfort and we, we help them when they need help. We need them when they ask us to do something. Um, it's like a two-way transaction. And that two-way transaction is like our two-way transaction between us and God. It's our faith being put in him. Uh, every time we do something that God asks for us uh, to do, he, we, we exercise our faith. It grows, it stretches like a, like a muscle. And the more that we trust in him and let him work through us, the more he reveals to us, the more things he begins to speak into our life, the more wisdom he puts into us, the more he shows us about other people so that we can help other people. And the more that he starts to reveal the gift that he's put inside of us. So if there's two things you could take away and think about in your week is, first of all, what can you do in your life to spend more time with God? Whether it's just reading a Bible verse while you're having a cup of tea uh, in the morning or um, putting some worship music on or just praying with a friend. And that's what really starts to grow that faith and that relationship with God. And the second thing is, what steps can you take to develop your relationship with God? Because I promise you that once you once you take that step of faith, once you begin to develop your relationship with God, he will pour so much things into your life. And as you make room for him, he will overflow that room and he will bless you more than you could ever imagine. So I'm just going to pray for us uh, right now. Yeah, God, we just thank you that you want to have a relationship with us. We thank you that you want to personally help us every day and help us with our needs and with our with our problems, God. I just pray right now that you may continue to fill us every single day as we make room for you, God. I pray that you may just overflow us with your spirit, overflow us with your wisdom and your heart for us, God. God, I pray that you may just reveal a new revelation to us every single day. As we, as, as we begin to draw closer to you, God, I pray that you may draw closer to us. And just fill us with your wisdom to be able to tackle on our everyday lives with you, God. Amen.